I am so scared of cats. I don't think I have Corona. <laughs> welcome or welcome back to my channel my name is Anne so in today's video I'm gonna take you guys through a day with me it's gonna be like a self-care day because I'm really sick normally I should be going to school today but I'm taking the day off because I'm sick and I don't want to get other people sick as well <coughs> stop it get some help Ugh, my room is literally a mess and I feel like that adds to my sickness so I'm gonna try and clean up the space and I'm gonna do some pampering things to make myself feel better and hopefully yeah we can just speed up the healing process before I'm gonna start cleaning my room I want to take my morning supplements I take my protein powder and my MSM powder every morning on an empty stomach and I've been doing so for the past two weeks so let's take them together supplements i'm gonna just go ahead with my usual morning routine i usually start my day by journaling and i'm not saying this to be aesthetic i actually do this i journal i read my bible and then i plan my day after i plan my day i do my morning affirmations um what do i do the next I'm trying to like visualize myself doing it oh yeah i work out and i'm so excited to do this i'm doing pilates now just youtube pilates not actual and i'm currently doing madeline a beat 25 month plan of pilates and i'm currently on day three kind of forgot about it because i wasn't sure if i was gonna do it but i want to be consistent today i am gonna just go ahead and do day three and today's only a 17 minute workout so i think i'll be able to do it and it's only lower body so that's not gonna be too hard i guess and so i put on something a little bit more decent and i'm now going to journal i have this cute notepad that i bought in primark and this is where i journal in and then i also have this planner i'm gonna be honest when i say i don't use this often i usually do it on my phone in my notes but when i'm not trying to use my phone as much i try to use this so i'm not confronted with screens all the time if you want to know how i journal i just start off with clearing my mind doing like a brain dump everything that's on my mind i just want to write down and then after i go in and read my bible i have here my bible i have this little paper here just to see where i stopped reading i'm currently reading a book of john i am at chapter three today that's what we're gonna read this is just gonna be my whole journal morning thing i'm gonna like do a little time lapse because i'm not gonna like talk you through the whole process guys i'm finally done with my morning journaling i just want to quickly tell you guys what i have planned today and they're not in order and they're kind of self-explanatory too i have to study today i'm gonna work out i'm gonna clean and then i'm gonna do a little bit of self-care those are the four main bullet points of today but i'll probably do some extra things in between now that that's out of the way the next thing is my morning affirmations i have two different affirmations that i will actually link down below the first one is a longer one and the second one is a bit shorter and because that one is shorter i use that time to to clean every day my room is a little bit dirty not so dirty but like a little bit dirty and then in those 12 minutes i have my headphones in and then i just clean my room in those 12 minutes of the affirmations all right in an actual gym fit but i just work on it whatever is comfortable so i have this cute black crop top and then these like pants i don't know these are for my mom actually but these are super comfortable but let's now start with the workout it's actually 20 minutes i said it was 17 minutes but it's actually 20 minutes but let's just start Thank you. 
we're done with our workout so now we're here in the bathroom and we're going to start skincare shower brushing our teeth the whole self-care thing obviously this is not my only self-care for the day this is just my morning routine i just came in here i have my products laid out all the way over here and i'm going to start with showering for my shower routine i have been meaning to buy the mayo bioma body wash i haven't bought anything of that line but their line looks so good and i want to purchase some of their products that's why i'm not going to go too much into my shower routine and my bathing body routine because there's nothing really anything special about it not yet i'm just using like the family body wash the family moisturizer it's nothing anything special about it i'm using a body wash with almonds extract or something and then i'm using this cocoa butter moisturizer you know what i'm saying the family product that everyone just uses but I also like to have my own you know the ones that actually have benefits let's just get into the shower real quick and then when I get back I'll really go in depth because my skincare routine is a bit more exciting so I'm fresh out of the shower and I'm nice and clean so let's get into the skincare but first we need to brush our teeth obviously toothpaste realize that with skincare less is more so i'm not gonna go in with too much skincare because i don't really need that much skincare and you actually probably also don't need that much skincare you know let's get into this i didn't show it on camera but don't forget to wash your tongue okay because that's where the real problem start now let's get into skincare i feel like this whole video i've been talking skincare skincare but now let's get into it i go in with my dove bar and people who know me because i talk about it in every skincare video no, I go with Dove Bar Soap. I've been using it for, I'm 18 now, like seven years. And my skin is quite good after seven years. So I definitely recommend if you're looking for a cleanser, use this one. Then for moisturizer, I also go in with a product that's familiar to most of you. This cocoa butter um, moisturizer from Hollywood Beauty. It's kind of like a petroleum, like Vaseline. Very thick. I love a good thick moisturizer on my face. Really drench my face with moisturizer other products that i have lying here are my cerave moisturizer and spf this is an spf 50 which is really good now that summer is coming up i also have my cerave retinol that i am kind of not using anymore i use this once twice a week i feel like that's the normal amount but do i need it i am so scared of cats especially the black ones like my whole neighborhood is full of cats like from the ceiling here the roof here is like open and then my neighbor's cat just walked over this little space like excuse me so let's just get into the skincare after i just want to go in and massage my face using my jade roller i used to also have a gua sha but it fell and broke if you want to activate your bar soap because this is where i used to struggle with in the beginning too you don't just put water on it and rub it you need to put hot water on it I'm gonna show you guys. I have my bar now. It's full of hot water. And now it will activate. You rub it in between your hands. And this is not activated. To me, at least. I've done it for a while. And this is what my hands look like. Do you see the difference with before? This is good. Now I'm just gonna go. I have not put any water on my face. But I'm going to wash my face. Um, I heard that you can also apply your cleanser without water. And then... It kind of also cleanses it more deeply. I don't know if that's true, but it works for me, so. Now that my face is dry, I go in with my moisturizer. I don't know, sometimes I get confused. Ah, uh, I didn't take my nine side of mine. Okay, I also have a nine side of mine serum from The Ordinary, but it's upstairs. But I don't know in the mood to go take it. So let's start with my retinol from CeraVe. Apply one like drop or something from this. And then I just go over it on my face. Let it dry for a few seconds. And then the next thing. I'm actually going to go in with my Hollow Beauty first before I do my SPF. Because obviously SPF has to be to, to like be a protector for everything. Take a good amount between my And then blend in my hands and then apply now to finish it off i'm going in with my cerave moisturizer and spf i think this is enough let me also do a little bit for my neck roll on deodorant this one smells 
really good that's really it for the skincare yeah let me just finish it off with a little bit of vaseline on my lips and then also some oil argan oil no castor oil on my brows and lashes so i take a little bit of my castor oil and for my lashes i take a little bit do like this and then and then lastly to cool my face down i'm going in ooh, i go in with my jade roller it's really cold <coughs> taking my rosemary oil i just go along these little cornrows that's probably my last step i'm just gonna clean up and then i'm gonna make my breakfast and then i'm gonna take a chill and i'm gonna just watch penthouse i love penthouse i'm literally at episode 10 and i'm hooked i'm gonna eat breakfast but i'm really craving a snack and because i'm sick i'm gonna give myself that craving after i eat my breakfast i'm gonna run to the corner store run to the corner store and order myself well buy myself because of my money some snacks we're gonna make our breakfast obviously we're gonna do healthy so we're gonna have some preparing, oats we are now preparing our breakfast and here we have our oats we keep them in the old um protein container because then there was like a little protein left and we could like use it to mix in the oats as you can see i'm going to take about two to three scoops i think for today i'm gonna do two scoops because i know for a fact i'm still going to the corner store later to buy me some stuff. We've now done most of our We've left the premises Like corner shop runnings And I'm feeling so sick My sister made me buy a corona test Just because no one is talking about it Doesn't mean that it's gone So I have a test here And as soon as I get home I'm gonna test myself I don't think I have corona But I've never You never know to test you never know. it you never And know. then if I have it Then I will be able to Let me speak please Um I felt sick to my stomach. I had like a strange feeling that I knew that something was wrong. So I was like, let me take a Corona test. <laughs> and it turned out I had Corona. We're back from the corner shops and I really want to eat, but first I want to try and do the Corona test. It's been a long time since I've done one of these, but the woman at the pharmacy gave me some instructions. So we're gonna take this and we have to put it in both our noses both our nose like it's one hand and then we uh, have to I don't want to contaminate anything but, but I'm like forgot how it goes this is okay so we have to put one drop in here so okay okay I remember how it goes so I put this in my nose then the residue I put in here mix that around then I close this and then do one drop in here but I need to remember what is positive and what is negative. Oh, I really want it to be negative. I have exams coming up. I don't want to miss school right now. Even though I'm not going to school right now. Let's go. Okay, wait. Oh my god, I remember this. It's so painful. Ow. Oh. Oh. Then I just really try to put this in here hopefully it was deep enough because ooh, close and then i just put in one drop yeah one drop and then we wait i hope it's enough should i do more yes i have my results i'm at negative it's like five o'clock right now what i'm gonna do is 
for my self-care because me my self-care to make me feel better is honestly having snacks and just binging some series and look at my face i've been rubbing vapor rub Wait, let me take it i've been rubbing vapor rub like 10 times because i rub it on my nose and then i have to blow my nose and then i rub it again i'm literally so tired that i might not even be able to study if there's a day to take a break and not do anything i think today is the day when i say i'm pampering myself for the video i mean resting all the extra activities like showering i mean i did shower but like you know doing my nails and stuff like that that's not self-care to me it's add-ons this just sitting in my bed watching a series and just relaxing my body that is self-care to me and then on a day that i do my nails and i do my hair that's like add-ons little little add-ons but at the end of the day i'm so tired it's currently like eight o'clock i'm gonna push in two more episodes of penthouse and then i'll call it a day also i want to talk about this book that i got it's well it's called healing is a new high and it's supposed to be about trauma and healing that and all those things to be honest i wasn't really looking for this book i was like i need a book for self-improvement and this is the only one this is the first one that i found everyone has a little bit of trauma anyway so i was like you know what so guys if you enjoyed the video make sure to like comment and subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next video bye